Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin, and today we're going to take a little look at OneDrive Files On Demand. Now, I understand that a lot of people have had a lot of problems with this so far, and um, because it's supposed to be a feature of the Full Creators update, and not everybody is getting it when they install the Full Creators update. And the reason for this is because Microsoft says it's rolling out gradually. I know, it seems like a ridiculous way to roll out a product, but... Whatever. The point is, you can get it now, and even after you get it, it's a little confusing to set up. So, this is... I, I got the full creators update on four machines so far, and um, two of them got it... got files on demand automatically, and it will do that. And not as soon as you boot it up. The, the sync client has to update itself. So, this one did not. So, that's why I chose this machine to, to record. So, you can see these are the two folders that I had synced on this machine. That's it. And um, so now uh, Microsoft has a page set up, learn about OneDrive files on demand. All right. Uh, we linked to it from NeoWin. John wrote an article. Um, so what you're going to want to go down to is why don't I see the, the files on demand options in OneDrive settings? Make sure you're running the full creators update. Obviously, um, install the latest version of OneDrive. So you can get this manually. It works. And... Once you install that file, you're going to be good to go, and, and it's going to have it, but there is more. Okay, so it finished installing. It doesn't give you any kind of confirmation that it finished installing. It just does. All right, so it still says my OneDrive is up to date. There's still just those folders there. So we, we have to turn on Files on Demand, and if we go into Settings, we can do that, and that's right here. So... You're going to see that it still probably won't show up, right? And it's syncing those those folders again, but that's all, all we get. And it's going to eventually that, that green check mark will show up here. So what we actually have to do, we have to go back into settings. And we have to choose to show which folders we want to see in OneDrive files on demand. Okay, so so this is new. This is not like the placeholders of old where you just see everything. You can choose which folders you want to show placeholders for, which ones you don't want to see at all. And um, so we're just going to say make all these files available. So this is not syncing these files. This is just downloading all the placeholder files to your computer. So let's just say OK. And this should start to populate fairly quickly, although in my experience it does take... Um, I mean, I have, I have a, last I checked, something like 60,000 files in my OneDrive. So it takes a while for it to process all the changes. And then there, see, now it's starting to pop up. And this is going to take a little while because it just rolls right through them. Okay, so like I said, about five minutes or so. And, um... Maybe 10, depending on your internet connection. It's got to download basically just the names of all your files, thumbnail images for images. Okay, so we can start to see just kind of how this how this populates here. Uh, the cloud icon means that it's not synced to the device. The check mark means that it is synced. Um, so and the and the this means that it is syncing here. Benchmarks is currently syncing. So what we can do is we can choose a folder where we can say, always keep available on this device, and then it's going to sync that folder. All right, we can pick a selection of folders and do that. All right, see how... Oh, that's a dark green check mark. I'm not even sure what the difference is. But, uh, yeah, always keep on this device. Or we can say free up space if we just want to get rid of all that. All right. And it's applying properties. And see, now it's all uh, in the cloud or syncing. So um, we could also do that to individual files now, which um, not all my files have populated yet <laughs> as I'm trying to do this. All right. Um, hopefully we can find something. Yeah, so we could just say I want to... There's the benchmarks for the Lumia 435. That's how old some of my OneDrive files go. So yeah, we could just say uh, always keep on this device. And now just that file is going to sync. All right, so I have that. And um, that's files on demand. And of course, I don't want this because it's a very old file. Whoops, I don't want to view online. I want to... No, we're going to go back to free up space. So that's back out there. That's in my OneDrive and all that's there. So um, I just wanted to make this video to make it very clear uh, how this works because it wasn't that 
clear to begin with because you would think we, we all use placeholders with Windows 8.1 and these almost work the same way. So if you have a Windows 8.1 PC, then you know that it just kind of automatically shows up all your files. And um, people were kind of wondering why that wasn't happening here. So um, quick little tutorial there. Hopefully that helped out some people. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.